And we're we'll walking to the Waffle House. Walking to the Waffle House. Walk, 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 walk into the Waffle House. Alright guys, it's now 9 here. It's actually 10 at home. I'm gonna try to find out what, how the time switches like that, where it switches at. Oh, it's actually pretty right there. Just noticed that. There's some, it always looks so much smaller on camera, but in person that's actually really high up there. Maybe it'll look better on the computer screen. But anyway, we're in a place called Oxford, Alabama. We drove a little bit last night after the show, stopped here. Now obviously got up eight. Now we're heading back home. I think we'll have about six and a half to like seven hours drive back. So I'm about to get out and just walk around for a second while we get gas. We're filling up. Then we're gonna be hitting the road. Gonna get me a full body workout in later. Super stoked about that. I miss the weight so much and my babies, you know what I mean? I miss them so much. It's crazy. I love it though. I legit miss actually lifting weights like yeah I can do push ups and stuff it's fine you can build a good physique that way I just actually enjoy lifting weights like genuinely enjoy it anyway see y'all in the next clip guys skyline of Atlanta Alright, it's done like 1.30, stop at Bojangles, got the roasted chicken bites, 280 calories, like 36 grams of protein, and then just one side macaroni, which is, I gotta look up the nutrition facts, probably like 200 and something calories, 200 and something calories, with a water. Cannot, we cannot have another four or eight. Oh, it feels so good to be home. Uh, now 5:16. we lost an hour so when we left at 9 in Alabama it was really 10 here in South Carolina so lost an hour hey. maybe about to eat then hit the gym up oh my boy Dickie get a full body in oh Oh yeah guys, it's time to get it in. Time to get it in. Oh, I miss these weights. Miss my babies. Alright, what's up everybody? In the gym here with my buddy Dicky. This is after three sets of incline pressing. He's just showing me how to clean here because he's in the CrossFit a lot. Uh, he'll be competing here soon. He does a lot of CrossFit workout and stuff, so we just kind of did whatever we wanted to do. But he's kind of showing me the technique here. All right, guys. So this is me attempting it here with just the bar. Feels really awkward. Yeah. I haven't done this movement since like high school. I actually cleaned a little bit, but I mean maybe for like a couple weeks I did cleaning. Uh, I actually like the movement a lot. It feels really good. 
Well, it didn't feel really good here, but once I actually started getting it, it felt really good. And I uh, found once I add a little more weight to it, for some reason that helped a lot. Yeah, it might feel kind of weird. You got it though. All right. Keep your knees bent. There you go. Plant a little harder. Plant a, a little bit harder. Your feet. Plant your feet a little harder, like stone. There you go. I'm about to show me how to do a chest of ball. You actually touching the bar a little bit with your chest or coming like up to it? You just come up to it? Yes, just come up to your chest. Pull up. Ain't hey, beating the things out, bro. Light work. All right, so basically how we planned the workout was there was basically no plan. We just came in. I said, I want to hit incline. He said, cool. Then he wanted to do some clean, so I said, cool. Then I, want, I want to do some pull-ups, so he said, cool. Then he wanted to do some uh, cable flies, so I said, cool. Then I said, let's do some rows. He said, cool. He said, let's do some chest, and I said, cool. Then I said, let's do some of these rear delt flies. He said, cool. And so on and so on. We just do, we just do an exercise. And the next person called out what they wanted to do. And we just kept doing it like that, man. Having a good time. Getting a good workout in. And on everything, we pretty much did like two or three sets. With the exception of cleans. I don't know how many sets I did of that, man. Thing felt good. And just did a bunch of those trying to learn the movement. It's a side delt now. Thank you. 
We were not such far. I won't ask me, man. Burn them out, burn them out, burn them out. Get that burn. Just putting that work in. Big bat, big bat, big bat. back now. 45 times 10 dropping, getting to 50 times 10. Super set. About to get into a little bit of front squats. I'm gonna clean it up. There you go. That's good form right there. There you go. My legs never gave out on these, man. These things killed my wrist holding them like this. I'm just not used to that much stress on my wrist, so I had to drop the weight. Tearing up my collarbone right there. Right side's bad, left side ain't bad. It hurts just to barely touch it. There you go. Whoa. Last set of calves. Already did mine too. Just finishing off with some calves and abs.
you're getting 30 seconds of flutter kicks. Then, then 30 seconds of planks, superset that, and then do it, what, back to back to back to back? Yeah. Doing it three times each, no rest in between, 30 seconds each. Pretty much stupid ad pump, crazy burn. Just like that, we're doing that three times. And that's it, guys. We did that ab session. That was it, full body. A uh, really good workout. I really, really, really enjoyed those uh, hand cleans. Those felt so good. It was ridiculous. I used to do those back, like in high school. I got to where I do a little bit. Hadn't done them since. So those felt so good. It was amazing. Um, we'll definitely be training. I'll definitely be training some more with him in the future. Enjoyed it. I'd like to switch it up. And I'm thinking I may switch to full bodies for a little bit anyway. So it was a good way to start off. And y'all saw I worked out at the hotel those two days, but I still miss the weights. There's nothing like those weights to me. I love them so much. So felt so good to be back, grab some iron. Anyway, about to go home. Probably have a serving of uh, turkey. Have about 160 gram banana. Probably have like some almonds, maybe some dark chocolate and a bunch of water, I'm so thirsty. But uh, feeling good, actually feeling great. Uh, gonna end it here. So I appreciate y'all watching. Phone's about to die. But anyway, I really appreciate y'all watching. Please give the viewers a thumbs up. I know everybody, every YouTuber says this, but and I haven't been saying it for a while just because I don't, I mean, I do care because I want to try to grow the channel and inspire as many people as I can. Help as many people as I can. You know, ask me any questions you want. Really appreciate everybody commenting on the videos, liking, commenting, sharing. It's so freaking awesome. I love you guys. Appreciate it so much. I'm um, gonna keep the content coming out. Just keep supporting me. Let's grow together. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching again. Gonna make you some mental gains, physical gains, spiritual gains, financial gains, relationship gains. Just. Try to get better every day. Even if you only get better 1% every day, it still adds up over time to something, you know, impressive. So uh, don't get in too much of a rush with things. Still go hard. Be patient. Put the work in. Get out what you put in eventually. You're going to start to reap the rewards. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching again. See you on the next one. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Peace.